Hello everyone, this is just a short video to demonstrate something spectacular that I have realized with my brand new phone. I purchased this iPhone 13 Pro Max two days ago to replace my old uh, Huawei P30 Pro, which has been serving me fantastically. It's one of the best, best phones I ever owned in my life, actually. Um, but I was an iPhone user in the past and I wanted to go back to the old to the old times but I guess this was one of the biggest mistakes of my life and I think I'm gonna have to return it tomorrow at the Apple Store um, and let me get on to the point so basically whenever I get a brand new phone I go to the settings just to see how quickly technology is expanding nowadays and evolving I go to mobile data I go to mobile data options and I click on voice and data and what this option gives you basically the chance to do is to switch from using 5G and then you can obviously pick if you want to use 4G. Now straight away I was very disappointed to know that the iPhone 13 Pro Max does not allow me to shift all the way to 3G. Which what I was able to do uh, on my previous phone. So that to me was already a warning sign that hold on. You guys are really going a step forward now to remove 3G when people still use it and want to use it. Nevertheless, I picked 4G as a safe option because 5G just screw that technology. I'm not going to speak about it much. Uh, you can do your own research onto what it does to your body, etc. Um, and everything was fine until I got hold of my little toy here. This is my K2 EMF meter. I usually use this to go on spirit hunts and you know look for the the lost souls that still roam in our realm. And I thought to myself, let's do a small experiment. So um imagining that the phone is off, you know, there's not much happening, it's just an idle brand new phone. Right now it is using of course my SIM card which I put from the phone that I'm recording with. And obviously it's inside, this is my old uh, SIM slot. I don't know if you can focus, but this is my old SIM slot uh, of my Huawei. Nevertheless, if I turn on my K2 meter, you can see that it goes from 1.5 all the way to 20 plus milligors. And this is obviously the, the scale that they use to demonstrate how much EMF is being emitted from a certain device. And you know, you don't need to be a, an expert to know that you know, green is the best, amber is, you know, I think like the barrier, the maximum point, and then red, you're talking about some dangerous uh, technology. So nevertheless, the phone is now off. And if I just place my EMF meter on top, nothing happens. And then you'll notice that from some time to time, the iPhone will try and search for something. I don't know what it's searching for, some type of signal, some type of network. Maybe it's searching for mail or notifications, I don't know. But there are instances where the phone literally like, where the meter just goes to red randomly. But nevertheless, if I just turn the phone on, look at that. I'm not even on the phone. And when I'm on top of it, it's going into the red and like it vanishes straight away. And if, for example, I want to do some research, look, I'm not even on the phone, and it can still pick up the, the power. Obviously, the sensor is here, so if it's facing downwards, it's not going to pick up much. But let me just open the phone for you guys. Right. And look at that. Constant radiation, constant pulsing of electromagnetic frequencies. Let's say I want to go to Google or um, you know search something. It just pulses away, pulses away, and it can be right next to it. So clearly the chip is somewhere on the right hand side, because if I demonstrate it on the left, it's much weaker. So clearly the chip is on the right hand side of the phone. Uh, Google, for example. Sorry, my. There you are. It's just constant, constant emissions of radiation. 
And imagine keeping that in your pocket or, you know, calling someone for an extended period of time. You know, this is some dangerous stuff. I know this only goes to 20 milligors, but who knows what the figures might be. And obviously there's a lot of people on YouTube which do extensive uh, tests and they find that the iPhone really does emit a significantly higher amount of EMF radiation compared to other devices. So yeah, this is extremely terrible and it's really disappointing because this is a lovely phone, but Apple has literally shot itself in the leg by stopping, by not even allowing the user, the consumer, to switch onto the 3G network. And that to me is just ridiculous because on Android phones, on Samsung's, you're given the chance to, to switch to 3G. I could do it on my Huawei, so why can't I do it on an iPhone? Well, it all goes down to the new world that they're trying to build with all the 5G and radiation. And you guys might not know, but just research the topic and you'll, you'll find. Um, search and you shall find, there's a saying like that. So yeah, I'm off to the Apple store tomorrow just to refund this phone because, you know, I know too much. So I hope this helps you guys make your new decision in regards to what phone you you get next time and yeah stay safe out there thank you